Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I had to actually go ahead and um, re-record this because my other video had made way too many F-bombs to for me to even handle. So I hope I cover everything and remember everything. So I had a very interesting day and I'm making this video not only to make people aware, but definitely to find out if anyone else has experienced what have I experienced? I get an email and it says, Chase, secured messaging. You have a message. I go and try to check this message. I didn't click on the link because you never know if it's spam or whatever. So I go on my app first initially and I'm like biometricing to get in. And it says, your account has been locked due to security purposes, reasons, whatever. Please call this 877 number. I'm thinking, hmm, that's weird. I'm, why would it be locked? Is, is there some kind of weird fraud? So just to triple check, I go on my internet, on the webpage, and try to go there, chase.com, sign in, same message. So I initially called this 877 number, waiting forever, and the woman I spoke to first was like, yes, I see here the reason for that message for that security message and why your account has been locked. I said, okay, why is it? Well, your checking account and savings account with Chase has been closed as of yesterday. I was like, what? Okay. See, this is the part I was already starting F-bombs left and right because I was a lot more heated in my previous video. It's probably not too healthy for you guys to see that. So I'm like, what do you mean it was closed yesterday? I haven't received any calls. Not only have I not received calls, you guys, notify me by secure message today, the day after. And I can't even read the message because my account was locked. And she's like, I go, no, I said, okay, so, all right, why was it closed? Oh, um, we're not, no, she didn't say we're not able to tell you. Chase is authorized not to disclose the reason for your closure, but just to notify you that it's been closed. So I'm like going back and forth with her. I've been with you for 20 plus years. I mean, I was literally with them. I, I don't remember what the bank was before. I think it was like Washington Mutual or something like that. I love that bank. And Chase bought them out during the whole recession, 2007, eight. And not only is my account closed, I am banned for life from opening another checking or savings account. And I was like, what? I, of course, I'm like going back and forth going, what do you mean I'm banned for life? That sounds so hardcore. It's like the most, I, I don't really use it much now. I used it like a few months ago. Never had like high amounts, never did anything that would be weird, like large deposits or had a ton of money in there or anything like that. So no like red flaggy type of things that would make you have your account closed, you know, for like money laundering or fraud or whatever. So I'm just like, okay, that's really weird. So you close my account and I'm banned for life. Interestingly enough, this doesn't apply to their credit cards. So I still have my personal credit card, just the checking in savings. So I'm like, okay, can I have the, how am I going to get the funds from the account? She goes, well, you can go into any branch. And I said, well, I can't go into any branch. I live in Hawaii. And she says, okay, well, you have to find a way to get this. I swear to God, this is what she says. You have to find a way to show us proof that these direct deposits made into your account are yours. I said, what direct deposits? I go, I only received one, like not one direct deposit, but multiple direct deposits a few months ago from my unemployment, right? She says, yes, the unemployment you're receiving, we need to verify that amount we need to see your weekly benefits, a summary of your weekly benefits to be able to release your funds. And I said, um, what? My, there was $3,000 in, in the combined accounts. I have to have 2,500, I think, in the checking to not get fees and whatever. And the savings, I, I don't think that one, you need to have a minimum, whatever. So I've always had 2,500 in there, long, forever like that's just always what I hold in there so I don't get charged fees I was like okay what I need to show you you guys are withholding my money until I show you proof that those UI benefits are mine what what do you even mean 
right? She goes, well, when are you going to come back to the United States since you're out of the country? I am in the country. Hawaii is the United States. And she's like, oh, that's right. That's right. I'm like, okay, but we do not have a branch here. How did you open an account then? I opened it 20 something freaking years ago. I'm not born and raised in Hawaii. Anyway, I'm, I'm already starting to lose my cool here. So I'm like, oh my God, this has got to be like something shady going on, right? So I hang up with her because I'm already like fuming. And this is what I'm saying. I was like talking to my partner. I'm like, beep, 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 beep. F bombs galore. Cause I was so pissed. That's my freaking money, right? So then I, I, I'm like, okay, I need to call. I, I'm gonna call the direct 800 number, whatever, on customer service. So wait on hold. She transfers to me to the department. The dude tells me the same thing. Long story short, same exact thing. Oh yes, I see here. Your account is closed. You're banned for life, and you need to show proof these UI benefits are yours to release to, for us to send you a check of the money that's in the account. I was like, this is insane. I've never heard of anything like that ever. I would love to know if you guys have ever had anything like this happen to you with any bank or more so specifically with Chase. I was just like mind blown. So I did some investigative reporting on Google because I was just like, there, I, 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 can't, I still can't get over this, right? This is just whack. So. I'm looking online and this has been happening for like a couple of years now. I've, I've been seeing people online saying, oh my God, she's closed my account. No, not telling me, blah, blah, blah. But I didn't see really anything about, I'm trying to think. I don't think I really saw anything about having to prove your identity or whatever, right? But there, the, and my partner was looking too and he saw, he goes, wait, because we invest in Bitcoin lately and he goes did you use chase to put the money i was like no i i haven't like i i usually switch banks here and there um depending on interest rates or whatever so i haven't really used chase in a while so i'm thinking i'm i'm like no i all the all the like top 10 reasons you would get your bank closed on you is like nothing i've no money laundering no super high balances no international wires no cryptocurrency crap like that which is weird because it is your money but whatever but then my partner finds a youtuber who had the same exact thing happen to him and he didn't have three thousand over eleven thousand dollars that he has to prove the money that came from whatever business was in fact supposed to go to him i'll give you a clip i'm gonna put a link into his video because he's he's re he recorded the conversation and everything with the customer service representative and and I, like him like he says in the video i feel bad that the reps kind of felt my wrath but I was just thinking this has to be illegal like what the hell and I was definitely flipping out on the reps I yelled at them said I'm gonna get a lawyer probably dropped some swear words in there and I I do feel bad but I was so in the heat of the moment I was so shocked I was confused I, I it was like crazy right so I'm gonna play a clip for you of this guy's video right here so you can kind of get an idea of who he is and his video it does look like the account ended up closing and then the check for six thousand dollars. That amount was placed in the account because up, we need a verification. It? Yes, the account ended up closing. But I, I literally talked to someone twelve hours ago, and they said call back in the morning. Yes, the account can close within ten business days at any time. We can still get a response, but unfortunately, the account did close. I just give me my eleven thousand dollars. We need to still verify that in order for us to be able to release that. So and then of course that. that would be overnighted once reviewed. And I'll also put a link in the description. Not sure if I mentioned that. Uh, I'll put a link in the description um, for for the video too, so you guys can see. And like I said, he does a much better job. He's not just like flipping out like I am and having to record a video twice because my last video was really bad. Definitely not made probably for YouTube or definitely not made for kids 18 and younger. So anyway, I'm gonna stop here. My my rant is out here's another car session with jay i couldn't let this all out inside of my house oh wait before i go do you guys want to freaking laugh i'm gonna have to blur out my address i you not do you know what came into the mail today two things swear to god 
same day, today. An offer from who? Chase. An offer from Chase to open up a goddamn business credit card. So Costco on Island, well, I think actually all Costco's are like this, I'm almost certain. So Costco no longer takes American Express, only Visa. And I only had an American Express for my business, right? And you know what came today, guys? My credit card. My business credit card from who? That's right, Chase. They send me my business credit card that I applied for and they wanna get me on board with the same business, by the way. I don't think, I don't know what's going on behind Chase's doors. With the new credit card, same credit card for the same business. All in the mail at the same time. What's going on, Chase? What's going on? Ugh. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Let me know if this happened to you. And I have to go clean now. I'll keep you guys posted on if I get my freaking money. Highly important. I'll see you guys next time.